I am Alok and you are watching Alok Sen YouTube channel. Lena will tell the rest. Big announcement today. I'm Lena from Alok Sen YouTube channel. Even Thor admits one beloved MCU Avenger is basically a god. Thor is the only literal god within the original Avengers lineup, but after spending time with them he admits that one fellow hero is basically a god. While there are many Avengers whose powers rival those of cosmic gods, Thor, the god of thunder himself, actually named the one Avenger who is basically a god, and this hero in question might be the least obvious choice of the bunch. Thor first came to Earth sometime in the 9th century in order to promote himself as a god worthy of worship. While on Earth, Thor battled numerous villains and monsters, even N. Saba Nur before he became the X-Men villain, Apocalypse which only gave Thor more credibility as an all-powerful god. However, during the relatively modern era, Loki attacked the Earth with the intention of conquering the planet, and Thor needed the help of some other, more recently developed heroes in order to stop the god of mischief. It is here when the Avengers were born, and when Thor first met the mortal hero who he would later regard as a god, Tony Stark aka Iron Man. In Thor, God of Thunder No. 3 by Jason Aaron and Asad Ribic, Thor is hunting Gore the God Butcher in three separate eras of his life. As a young god in the late 800s on Earth, as a moderately experienced god in the present day, and as an old god in the far future. In the past, Thor tried and failed to kill Gore after tracking the God Butcher to a cave in the area of the world that would become Russia. While Thor failed as a young god, he was determined to not do so again in the present day. Thor decided to go back to that cave to look for a sign of Gore, as Thor realized that the God Butcher was still very much at large despite centuries of hearing nothing from him. There was just one problem. Thor wasn't exactly sure where that cave was it had been a few hundred years, after all. So, Thor recruited the help of Iron Man, more accurately, Tony Stark to help him find the cave and travel to its location with him before Thor explained that he had to go in alone. As Iron Man flew away a bit deflated by the fact that Thor didn't want or need his help, Thor told him, you are as much a god as any immortal I have ever known, Tony Stark, and then asked him for one more favor. Thanks a lot for watching the whole video. If you like the video, like it and share it with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed to our Oloxen YouTube channel, I suggest you to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank you so much.